we go, Naomi. Yeah. Entering the cruise terminal. It's weird, I've seen this so many times on various other YouTube videos going up this escalator with that big fan thing in the distance. And now we're actually here doing it ourselves. Aww. It's so strange seeing it. Our boarding time was at 11.30. Our taxi arrived at 10.15 and it is now 10.38 and we're walking onto the ship. Mad. Yeah! Let's cruise. Let's cruise. 20 minutes after arriving at the port, we're going over the gangway. Security was a breeze, no queue whatsoever. Staff were brilliant. And we're on. Press. We're here. We've seen this so many times on videos and Cafe Promenade. Balloons ready for the party later. So we're gonna go and do the mustard drill straight away, which is down on deck four. the Aqua Theatre where we'll be watching one of the shows later this week. I think the performers high dive off of there into the pool there. It's mad how there's a full garden up here. This is all real. This is the Central Park area. Naomi's going through the menu. This is the, was this the wine bar? Yeah. Naomi's given us the challenge of the, the no lift challenge all the end. So we've just come from deck three where we've checked our dining times. Now we're walking up to deck 12 to find our cabin, maybe find the wind jammer for some food. Just go and have an explore, but let's see how long this lasts. We're doing it every day. More exploring, we just had some lunch in the Windjammer. I didn't film it because it was really busy. I'm not entirely sure we'll want to go there again, it's just a big buffet, not necessarily our cup of tea, so we thought we'd get it out of the way early just for a snack before we found our rooms. Anyway, we find ourselves now out on the pool deck. So carry on exploring. There's Naomi behind me. Hello. Where should we go? Keep wandering? Away. Oh, okay. Go for a wee. Just cruising around the Salarian Bistro, waiting for Naomi. It's so weird to be here, like I said just now, but I've watched so many YouTube videos of Oasis class ships. I'm coming from England, you don't see them very often, so to come here and see this and actually be on one, is at the moment, is a bit of an overwhelmingly surreal experience. Fun. I'm looking forward to exploring more. But there's so much to take in in such a short space of time. Well, it feels like a short space of time today. Um, so I think we'll just go and get a drink in a minute, relax and see where the day takes us. But exciting. Our Harmony of the Seas adventure starts now. First drink, let's go. Cheers. Cheers. and the flow rider um, and there I don't know if you can see in the distance there is a few more ships lined up 
that is OSC Seascape and there's a couple of carnival ships behind it and then right down the far end is um, a Virgin Scarlet Lady um, there's Miami Skyline currently about 1.30 so they're going to be departing or leaving set and sail, should I say, in um, three hours or so. Made it to our rooms. Welcome aboard. The key to your vacation is here. Go for it. Very, very nice. And we're here. So we're not with a big fancy cabin tour, that's not really our vibe, but there's our that's a huge bed, isn't it? I don't know. Here's our balcony. We opted for one that was like a slight diamond shape as opposed to just a rectangle. It is big, isn't it? Yeah. That's plenty big enough. Hey Naomi, you've got a personalised letter to you there on the shelf. I think it's for both of us. Let's have a look. Okay, so it is our excursion to St. John, Honeymoon Beach. Very nice. And again. Lovely. What else do we get? This is a little desk area. What's the socket situation? There is two USBs, two, three US, one European. And a light up mirror. <laughs> For the sail away party. Yeah. Just thinking, stood here the first time on a cruise ship up this high. Do you get the temptation that you want to jump overboard and just jump in the water? Yeah, like it looks a little bit irresistible to be honest. Especially it looks when quite it's cool as 30 well. degrees yeah. and we're both sweaty and hot from travelling all day. Yeah. You won't be able to see on camera, but just out there on one of these boats in the harbour is the island cruise um, tour thing that we went on yesterday. Um, You'd have seen it in a previous video, I think, but it was $30 for a cruise around that island there, which is, is it Star Island with all the millionaire mansions on it. And then there's also a, a luxury boat there. Let me see if I can zoom into it. That luxury yacht is obviously moored up on one of their mansions that we drove past yesterday. Very rich people live around this area. There's also, in below deck style, a what do you call them yachts? Just a yacht out there with super a yacht. super yacht with a slide hanging off the side of it, like they do on Below Deck when they park up and get all the toys out. That's quite cool. Anyway, I think we are sailing away. I just heard the horn go. The pilot's down there. Away we go. Are taking the stairs challenge this week bearing in mind our cabins on deck 12 that means going up and down if we have something to do on deck three or four we've got a workout ahead of us near me yeah we're at the bionic bar what did you select um i selected a beef feeder and tonic oh there we go ordered by naomi w yeah one here then. So, when you do it, you make it on there and you tap your thing here, for wherever it is. What's it taste like? Like a gin and tonic. We're just eating dinner in the MDR. Mixed reviews, we'll come back to that later on in the night. Um, dessert time now. Naomi has a um, royal cheese. Royal. I am very royal. 
You're very royal. Oh, honey, yeah. yeah, you are. Hammock on key lime pie, obviously. Yeah. Cocktail time again. We're in the rising tide bar this time. We're going to see. We just started down there. Now we're going up. Up there somewhere. Okay, welcome to day two on Harmony of the Seas, a sea day. Not a lot planned, so we're just going to wander around, explore, have some sun, and hopefully watch some funny games by the pool, and let's just see how it goes. But a nice, glorious, sunny day at sea. Wandering around having some lunch on the yeah. boardwalk. Lovely, lovely. But now we're still hungry, so we're going to go and get some pizza. Definitely. Sorrento's pizza review, carrying on from the hot dog we just had. Mm, very nice. Very nice. Got very tasty. Hello, Naomi. Hello, Sophie. We've come out of the sun for a while downstairs to do the World Landmarks, main the Landmark Trivia. We are in um, On Air, which from what we've seen so far seems to be a multi-function room for karaoke last night, port shopping this morning. Um, Though our first observation is it's, it's probably not big enough for what they do here. Yeah, karaoke last night was absolutely pumping, wasn't it? Yeah. Packed. You need to get here well before. The, um, packed. Um, anyway, we're going to give World Landmarks a trivia, and as I'm such a geography whiz... Um, you actually are. Well, I don't know about that, but it can't be that hard, can it? Well, quizzes are done. We did the one that we showed you just now, which was the landmark, visual landmark quiz. We got seven, did we get 17? I think we got 17 out of 20, but we didn't win. I thought that was a good score. But I forgot the name of Mount Rushmore like an idiot although we did get Edinburgh Castle not many people got that right um, also we are from England so we got Tower Bridge right when everyone else put London Bridge and then we came and did the general knowledge quiz and we got 5 out of 20 Tim who thinks that he's amazing at quizzes basically flopped it and was absolutely crap basically so I'm very disappointed in Tim great thanks um, so yeah that was rubbish. Anyway, now finish the cocktails and then we're gonna go get ready. Tonight is formal night. <music> Naomi sat in the main dining room with her cup of tea. Love a cup of tea. Love a cup of tea. We have um, mixed reviews of the main dining room after two nights. We thought we'd give it a go for two days. Some food's fine, some food's poor the service is mixed it's really busy and really noisy we have this is 7 p.m main dining room reservations yeah we're now so it it is a busy time of night to come and eat we're it's 25 past eight now 25 past eight. we've been here for just under an hour and a half we haven't had a good all three courses yet yesterday the starter and the dessert was nice the main was horrible tonight you didn't like the starter. I had a French onion soup, which was not very nice. My starter was okay. Oh, okay. I'll put pictures of them now. If I put this clip in, I'll put pictures of the, of the food on top of this clip. Um, Naomi had the beef bourguignon, but didn't really eat it. No. I had the chicken Kiev, basically, which was okay. And then creme brulee and ice cream for pudding, which was fine. But I don't know. Not overwhelmed by it. Overawed by it. Just average really it's fine it's fine Hawaii. yeah i think we we've got some speciality speciality food booked on three of the other nights it's just tomorrow we don't have anything booked so we might do something different tomorrow we'll see see how we feel tomorrow i think hear that smooth silky jazz we're in the main theater to watch mark preston some old American crooner singer, I think. We've 
there's a video on the screen just showing some yeah, I'll flip it around and show you now. Basically, this guy with all the old singers that he's performed, but every photo looks like it was taken in the 1975. Um, so, who knows what we're in store for here, but um, something to do for an hour. Oh. Person. It's like a rabbit or something, surely. Mm -hmm. Person lying on the bed, I think. Mm, I think it's a rabbit. I don't know. Let's go to the towel animal demonstration later in the week and we can see. Mm. Night, night. Mm -hmm. Morning, everybody. Another sea day today. This is the third day of the cruise. We just had a nice coffee on the balcony looking out at the, the wide Caribbean ocean. There's no better relaxation feeling than just sitting here, looking at this, looking at the sea bobbing along. We have no real plans today. We have Hibachi booked at 12.30 for lunch, which I'm looking forward to. That's where they do all the in front of you on the grill. I'm looking forward to that. And then other than that, no real plans. So we're just gonna go and get some breakfast now, do the Hibachi, relax in the sun this afternoon, and then see where the evening takes us. But another nice day at sea in the Caribbean. How much should I give you there? Five. Five, okay, five. It's a fair five. Right, so here we got Tim. He's leading at the moment. It goes. Funny. Nope. Oh. It's over there. I thought that was gonna go in. No. And the winner of the crazy golf oh, as per usual. was Tim. But only yeah. by a few shots. It's actually quite difficult because moving around a lot. We've got us busy up here. said it's the best thing you've eaten so far. Yeah, definitely. Well, true. Really good, well worth the money. We did the lunch that was a bit cheaper. I think we paid $23 each or something, um, but excellent. Definitely. No idea what I'm doing. I'm going to press this Casino Royale button and see what happens. Okay. I think that might be getting into this section. Oh my God, I don't know what we've done, but I pressed a different button and now suddenly I'm ten dollars up. It's throwing money at me. What? Oh my god! What's happened? Twenty-two ninety-eight. So I've now got twenty-two ninety-eight. I started with five dollars. 
Should we just cash out now? <laughs> no, let's try once more. Okay. Try what, what the same button again? Yeah. What's happening? I don't even know. <laughs> it's going up even more. <laughs> We're now on $25. What should we do? Should we cash out? No. We're, 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 we're five times up on our investment. We should, get, we should cash out. We'll lose it all otherwise. Just, 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 do, we, 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 just do another one. So we just put in $5 in the fruit machine. And we won and we won. 20. Spend it wisely. Let's go to the bar. <laughs> we had a couple of hours reading here on deck on the sun, the sun deck. Where are we on? Deck 16. It is roasting hot, well above 30. I sort of came up, we came up in a swimming stuff thinking we might go on the slides, but there was still a huge queue halfway down the staircase, so maybe we'll leave that a bit. But still, nice to get some sunshine. So after a bit of time sunbathing on the side of the ship, it wasn't as sunny as yesterday, a bit cloudy and- Yeah, but um, it was later than what we did yesterday. Yeah, it was, it was still very warm though. I went down the water slides, they were fun. Um, I read some of my books because I love the food. And now we are having a gin and tonic. Excuse gin and tonic. And a bourbon and coke in the solarium where it's nice and quiet because everyone's gone down to change for dinner. But as we had a big lunch today, we're not hungry yet, so we'll just get wrapped some food later on. I think we might uh, have a hot dog on pizza. But we're certainly not going to bother with the main dining room tonight, so we're going to take it easy and take advantage of the quieter ship for an hour or two um, and just relax. Let me show you the view. So we're just sitting here. On the corner of the solarium, there's one of the hot tubs down there, or in film, in case someone's looking. Um, back along there's one of the sun decks. That's the solarium down there, and it's adults only, so it's nice and quiet. And look, there's literally, I can count 10 people from here, where we can see. And all afternoon, there's been hundreds, so it's nice to have a bit of peace and quiet and sit and enjoy a drink in this quiet area. Very nice. Because we weren't hungry, we, um, into the Windjammer tonight, just for a quick snack. Name has gone chicken tenders, chips, a bit of salad. I've gone full side salad, roast turkey, roast cosettes, greens, green beans, chicken tenders, chips, and some roast vegetables. And his name wasn't hungry. And I wasn't hungry, but it's hard to say no to the buffet. It's all hot and fresh and nice, the salad's nice. The meat's nice, the chips are nice. Whereas in the main dining room, it's really claustrophobic, it's loud. You feel a bit, I don't know, it's hard to explain. There's no windows for one. No windows, you can't see anything. We're right next to the window here. But I don't think you can't see the open, well you put the can to the open if you look down. I just think it's a slightly nicer experience from what we've seen so far. I'm just, sure, if there's a huge queue, and there's no table spare and it's loud and I'm sure there's different experiences but the one we've got today actually is it's nice. Yeah, I agree. But I've only got chicken tenders so I can't really make a judgment. That's true. Well, generally I think that the staff that work up here are quite a lot happier than the staff that work in the dining room. I just feel like the dining room so we come into Studio B for 1887. Is it called a journey through time? Yeah, it is. A journey 1887, through a journey through time, the ice show. I will flip the camera on and show you, but compared to last night when it was actually a quiet auditorium, this is actually filling up quite a lot. So I'm excited. My, okay. first, my first ever ice show. You? I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way.
We are in St. Martin. It is so hot. It's 32 degrees, I think. The steel band's playing. The sun is out. Naomi is here. Boiling. And there's our first Diamonds International. Well, I said they're all over the place around here. I'm not sure Naomi will want to pop in there at some point this week. We've made it to Maho Beach in St. Martin. Mm -hmm. well, it's very busy, but we are right under the bit where the planes come and land over your head. It's very exciting. Just got a taxi here from the port. It was $16 per person round trip. So 32 total we paid. Anyway, we're gonna hang around here till the plane comes. I don't know when that is. I'll flip the camera around and show you what we're looking at. The beach, anyway, here is Maho Beach. back to the port. Now we're going to get the water taxi into Phillipsburg town and go and grab some food and maybe some Wi-Fi and that sort of thing. We were going to walk but it's 32 degrees and we don't have enough water or energy to walk there and back to the now yep. we've had a five or six hours in St Martin and we're now heading back on board we're very touristy very touristy around the port obviously and the town centre is basically just a, a beachside strip like you'd get anywhere in the world but nice but you know the same as anywhere else in the world and on board we've got free food and free drink so yeah so we're gonna get rather than paying another 20 quid for two beers we're gonna go and have few beers on the sun deck and watch the pier runners coming in um, as the ship gets ready to leave. 
much more of a cup of tea. In a bit. Naomi, how tall did you say the ship was? It's probably like 3,000 AMEs. 3,000 AMEs high? Yeah. Look at there it is. We've been waiting for 15 minutes, but so far there's been no gear runners. That's St. Martin's um, port down there that we were in just now. There was a few people arriving, bang on 4.30, but it's now 4.45 and no one's arrived since. So either everyone's on board or some people are really late and they are going to be running to the boat in a minute. So, Timothy David, where are we tonight? We have made it to the Aqua Theatre to watch the fine line at water show. Um, it's been cancelled every night so far this cruise, but this is the actual one that we actually booked um, weeks yeah. ago. So, um, I'm excited. I've heard good things. I think there's one called Hero, which I've seen people talk rave about. This one's called The Fine Line. Don't know what it's about, obviously, but no. um, yeah, looking forward to it. Very exciting. Uh, the water is quite rough still, so hey. Let's just say, it's fingers really cool. crossed, it goes ahead. It's um, 8 o'clock now, it's past 8.30, so we will see. We will see. British bodies on Keneal Bay in St. John in the Caribbean. Who would have yeah. thought it? Just on the beach in St. John.
morning from St. Thomas. Oh, no. Good morning from St. Thomas. We just finished our boat tour. Now we're back at the port. There's not really much here, so quick half an hour walk around and then we're going to go on board and um, go down the water slide. I'm going to get Naomi to go down the water slide. Really? Yes. We've just been um, sunbathing. Yeah. On the deck 15. Mm -hmm. And, we and I was the, fast asleep. We were told the top deck's being closed because it's getting a bit rough seas, high winds. If you look up at the flags, you won't see it on camera, but they're really going crazy. And they just evacuated the pool because it suddenly started going in the water. And people were laughing and joking at first, and then suddenly it got quite serious. And, and someone got hurt. Someone got hurt, and the lifeguard jumped in, and all sorts. It was crazy. Anyway. Back to the room again. Exciting, but um, safety Day first. Sure. Safety first. is drinking his James Bond martini. Shaken, not stirred. <laughs> okay, we're in the Royal Theatre to watch Greece the musical. Well, no, it's now Greece in concert because they can't do all the stunts because we've had a really, we're having a rough. Yeah, so we've had the ships been moving today. Yeah. So they've canceled quite a lot of um, productions. The ice shows have been canceled. The aqua shows basically not been on all week. Yeah. So the footage you would have seen of what I did see of the Aqua Show, that's the only one that's been on all week and we saw about 25 minutes of an Aqua Show, mm -hmm. which is more than anyone else has got, so Yeah, so good. it's better than anything. Yeah. Um, anyway, they're putting Grease on, they're just doing the songs. Yeah, they're doing Grease in concert rather than Grease the musical. Yeah. So, so hopefully it'll be all right anyway, yeah. so we'll see. The good news is we are getting to get stock at Coco K tomorrow. Coco K? Coco Key? Coco K. I think they call it Coco K officially by the Bahamian way. It should be Coco Key, but anyway, mm -hmm. besides the point. Tomorrow we're docking at Coco K. Um, they've cancelled three or four boats this week because of the rough seas. However, we are docking there tomorrow, so fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. We get to go experience that, which will be cool. Because that's one of the places I've seen on loads of other people's YouTube, and um, we cool to see it for ourselves. So looking forward to that tomorrow. Um, one more day of sun and drinks and back I'm into off Miami. to Florida Keys. Exactly. Well, it's like walking off of a ship at Coca Cola when there's two boats here at the same time. Absolutely carnage. Also, the sea is quite rough, isn't it? How rough the sea is to the top. I don't know if that comes across on camera, but the seas are really rough. They said it's a lucky that we actually docked here because um, they haven't the last few days, and then one ship did yesterday, but this does look very rough. for a ticket for access to the water park per person 
which is just a stretch too far for us, but um, it does look cool. line about the shack snack chicken burger so we've got chicken burger each some mozzarella sticks and some fries Naomi be the taste test of the chicken burger for us mm, very, tasty. <laughs> very tasty was that yeah. very nice reaction on KKK today. Um, I think that it's a quite a nice place to come, but you don't really need that long here, really. Especially if you come here numerous times, I suppose. Um, we'll be here from 10 till about 3, 3.30. Yeah. 3 yeah. No.
your shot lobster bisque. I can't actually hear what he said. No, with like lobster with caviar on top. Mm. That's so nice. Is it? Go on then, Tim. Mm. It's very nice. It just tastes like a, a prawn with a fishy sauce in it. Oh, wow. The bird's nest. I think you said take the lime and eat it with a little spoon and then at the bottom of it is a tuna something that you spread onto that parmesan cracker and then here you eat an olive each and then you mix the rest of it up it tastes like a caprese salad chicken and the egg something with pork Magic mushroom and the worm. This is our number one dessert. Hot caramel sauce. Ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it goes. And inside the world, chocolate mousse, peanut ganache, creme brulee, salty caramel ice cream. Magic mushroom, the head is white chocolate, pistachio mousse, pavlova, small one, pavlova with pink peppercorn spice. Then we have the mango serving, and the soil is red velvet pistachio crumble. Amazing. This is your sweet dream. <laughs>